We'll take a couple calls first. Hello, go ahead. Hi, I'm back. What's... Hello, go ahead. Hi, I'm back. Hello, I have a question for Amanda Tarantino. Go ahead. Yeah, um, Amanda, I have my dick stuck in a toaster, and um, I'd like to know how to get it out. Plug it in, and then dump a glass of water on it, and then it'll slip right out. Oh, Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, well, it's always been our. Uh, I miss you. Well, that's nice. That's nice. Bob is a poo poo head. Well, that's that's not so well, nice. Well, you know what? Fine. People like to joke around here, so that's fine. We've always uh, we've it's all, all good fun. It's all good fun, and you know, until it uh, becomes uh, nasty. That's for sure. We've all we uh, all right. L let's go into the calls now. Hello, uh, so what do you think about uh, Bob Croft and the prospect of us getting on the trucking network? I think it's a lot of bollocks, to be quite honest. Pardon me? Sorry, you're think slurring your words. Could you speak up? I think up? it's a lot of bollocks. Uh, and why do you think that? Priority message. Sorry, wait. Oh, pardon me. It says, Lot Lizard. Hi, T and Amanda. It seems someone invite invited a guest to come visit the show today. It's not showing. It's not showing. I hope he gets. Let's see what's on the there screen it goes. here. I hope he gets beat like Ray Rice's. All right, listen. <laughs> beat like Ray Rice's son. Now that's in bad taste. Yeah, that's in what? bad taste. That leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Elliot. <laughs> Elliot Roger, the egghead is back. <laughs> Blow up your plane, mother effer. Love. The Supreme. All right. Ignore. I can assure you, Bob, that if we get on the trucking network, we will be eliminating these messages. What, what kind of show are you doing today, T? I, I notice our background here. What's uh, what's going on here? Yeah. What is what is that? Well, wh what we're doing is we're gearing our show towards Euros today. See, right now in Europe. Is this being broadcast to Europe then, T? It is. Yes, like right I'm from Europe. Yeah, what time is it, caller, in Europe right now? 8:39 p.m. See, it's the evening right now there. Are you from England, Colin? Yes, yes, sir. Well, nice to have you on the on the show. It's uh, it's nice to speak to people across the ocean. We just have to make sure that uh, priority message. that uh, you know some certain callers don't get through, and that it's a it's a family show. So, I I'll just go ahead for a message. Oh, Bob, welcome back to the show. Uh, I'm glad you're back, and I look forward to seeing Hall and Ass on the Trucking Network. Very good. I can't quite read that. I have to get a little closer there. So what's the new contract going to be? Is it still going to like take away his fans, his viewership? Well, and that's the whole deal. I mean, we uh, we're uh, we're pretty concerned about the callers and uh, and some of the comments we see on the chat line. And uh, people like yourself, who are obviously a fine, upstanding person, but uh, some people uh, I think uh, take it the wrong way and just uh, make a joke out of the whole thing. So uh, um, I have a bad ahead. part of me. I have a bad taste in my mouth. From the last time, uh, the contract you offered last time, but I'm glad it's better this time, and I look forward to that. Uh, I, it, there was something about a glory hole. It said, I know, Serial Man, you can see. Serial Man. Put that on. In my ass daddy. Now, you see, that's the kind of thing. I mean, why would people say things like that? Why, why would you just not call in and talk like this fine gentleman here about the trucking network and what we're doing? Okay, I'm going to make a plea right now to the people watching this program. I came to here today, T, just to drop off a, a, you know, some informational package for you. And I mean, I, from my good graces, I thought I'd just come on and sit down with you guys. And yes. I don't want to subject myself to, uh, to a lot of this. I, the, the problem is, is that when Bob's not on this program, all I get is messages saying, where's Bob? When's Bob going to be on? I really want your show to be on the trucking network. Then when Bob comes on, it's it, it's met with resistance, and Bob's treated I, I'm with. Sorry. Well, don't touch me, uh, Amanda. Um, but that's fine. Uh, well, I mean, you can uh, talk Bob, to me, but don't touch me. I just want to say, uh, Amanda, you're a bitch, and uh, Bob Croft, go fuck yourself. All right. Oh, you know, see, there you go. That I thought that gentleman was uh, being very polite at first, and now he's uh, he's. Uh, Dissing Amanda here. Lot Lizard, you look like a dis distinguished businessman uh, who's a collector of fine things and likes to dress up in Armani suits on the weekend. Does that say something like 
Sailor. No, here, I'm gonna just there. It's off. Sailor Moon. Priority message. Genius trucker, genuine trucker. Sweden says hi to T, Amanda, and Bob. Wonderful. Well, that's okay. nice. Okay. Sweden, that's fantastic. We'll probably have to move it off of Vaughn Live and uh, go somewhere Priority else. Priority uh, message. It's um, you know, we'll uh, we'll work towards it anyway. King Acorn, I paid fifty nine ninety nine and haven't got my eight by tens. Is this some kind of a scam? I'm not playing around. And a lot of people, Bob. <laughs> a lot of people with a lot of. Hey. Ha, just kidding, Bob. I love you. Can't wait to see your lovely face on my desk 24-7. Very nice. Well, that's nice. I, that is very, nice. Very don't, nice. Yeah, don't touch me again, Amanda. Thanks. Well, um, I was just going to say your suit is really nice. Well, that's fine, yeah, but just don't, don't touch me. Dangleman, uh, I'm sorry for the last message, Bob. Welcome back, and I hope you give T a good deal this time. T, read my full message this time, you cuck. cuck. What's a cuck? What is a cuck? Personally signed. Personally Priority signed. Press message. one if you're interested, and then we'll facilitate that. Uh, cuck definition. Bob. Cr Bob, I um, I got. Amanda, what? Like, why are you touching me? I'm sorry. I I, I have some snacks for you, Bob. Oh, well, all right. Well, thank you. Um, what I have here is I have some applesauce, a glazed donut, and an avocado. Well. <laughs> So good thing you didn't go to too much trouble, Amanda. Yeah, there's see, I, I got Bob a better snack than last time. There's applesauce, a apple glazed sauce. donut, and an avocado. And not even a cut up avocado, but just a, a normal well, uh, I plain avocado. Well, I even avocado. forgot to take the sticker off, but I mean it's easy to peel. There's a spoon. It's you, a salt. It's right. Your hospitality is uh, is appreciated, uh, Amanda. But um, you know what? I think I'll pass. Um, you, yeah, but that's very nice of you. Thank you very much. Donut looks like a day old. Who was that? Was somebody there? Uh, yeah, it, it kind of does look like a day old, sir. Uh, welcome, <laughs> welcome, caller. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, how are you doing, Bob? I'm glad to I'm, have you back. I'm doing very well. And who am I speaking with, sir? Uh, my name is Steve. Hello, Steve. Hi. Uh, I just, you know, I apologize for the other callers. Anyway, I wanted to say, uh, Bob. You like Star Wars, right? You seem like a man that enjoys. You know what? I do like American Star Wars, and good. I saw the first Star good. Wars in the theater back in 1977. Back with the Wolfman. Back with the, the Wolfman. the extra CGI crap in it. Yes, true enough. That's true Bob, enough. I'm, yeah. Will you turn to your right and look at T for a moment, please? By all means. Why would you like me to look at T? Uh, does he not look like the CGI crap from the Star Wars prequels? Look at his facial hair. He looks just like CGI computer crap over there. You know what? Looks and horrible. I never saw the prequels. I have to tell you right now. I just saw the three, uh, the first three, and I never saw the uh, the Lucas uh, CGI ones. I, I I'm a bit of a purist that way. Apparently, I think a war is going on, and basically they're invading. Well, invading. I say, I say a bit harshly. There's a war in invading Sweden, Sweden and like a lot of them are enforcing their cruel ways. You know. Like, you're, uh, you're calling to ask us a question that you're not even sure what the situation is <laughs> yourself. Yeah, I, I know that, that's a bit. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit uninformed. But can I sing? Can I sing you? A, can I sing you a song? Can I sure. Sing a song for you. First of all, Officer Dixon says, "Bob, you are within you are within 500 yards of a school right now. You know you are not allowed to do this." To your past convictions, little Timmy little still Timmy. cannot sit down. No, see that, that that's that's not very funny. That's that's, that's no, not funny just at all. Trying to Could we offer you an avocado? No, thank you. Don't go to too much trouble. You obviously didn't. No, that's fine, Amanda. Okay, caller, go ahead with your song. All right. Uh, so so first of all, Bob, how how do you like rap? How do I like rap? Uh, you know what? I'm yeah. not really a rap uh, kind of guy. I'm more into country and uh, rock and roll personally. But uh, hey, you know what? Uh, whatever floats your boat, sir. But you go ahead if you want. If you'd like to sing us a song. All right. Since you don't like rap much, I'll start off with a uh, a softer rap song. So all, all right, right this is how it goes. Let me just set up. Like I like singing along with it, but all right. <clears throat> We're ready. All right. I am the one that wear your ton. Don't need the gun to get respect up in the streets. Under the sun, the bastard son will pop the glock to feed himself and family. <laughs> By any means, your enemies, my enemies, we wet them up like a canty. Play your little tapes around the fate, don't have a face, He's now you Jamaican. later open the gate. Great, eliminate like eliminate. Hey, a young boy had to penetrate. Face, a young boy, get on cut a case. Bang, 
Now is mama living with that pain? Wait, a doctor says he's gonna stay. Let him get a set of beans so he regenerates. Now an N word, oh, oh, sorry. There was I, N, I, think, there was I, N word. I think we get the Nazi idea there, caller. Thank All right, you very this much. isn't some sing song sing along. We're gonna move but, on uh, now. Do you get abused, Amanda? A little, yeah. How do you get abused? Verbally. Verbally abused. Verbally abused. From these callers and these yes. people that are calling up. Definitely. Hey, how's it going? Oh, Bob? we have another caller. Uh, hello, you're on live with Bob Bob Croft. Well, I was just calling in uh, as a fellow bald man, because I am bald. <laughs> I was wondering, how do you uh, clip your hair there? What do you use? What do I use? <laughs> Well, I'll let you know that I used to have a full head of hair, and maybe one day we'll uh, post a another yeah, photograph. Yeah, I mean, I had a mullet. That's the caller. Right From back here. In this the is day. the caller, by the way. That is him. For there anyone who wants to see what this call well, hello, looks sir. like, oh, it's too bright. Okay. Hello, sir. You know what? I just uh, I just cut my own hair, and uh, I've got some clippers, and I do it myself. And uh, you know, got to keep it nice okay. and neat. It's well, cool. Hey, well, I'm doing too. the same thing that you're doing. I just wanted to hear it out of a 40 year old virgin's mouth that I'm doing the right thing. All right, listen. What was that? You see, you start off nice. These these people, they start off nice, and they lure you in, and they suck you in. They're no, I'm not trying to suck you off, Bob. Nobody is. No, you see? There you go. So, first of all, he calls me a virgin, and now he's telling me he's going to suck me off. No, I'm not. I, I like your bald head. I want to rub my head on yours. Well, I don't want to rub my head on your head, sir. Listen, well, we're well, trying to... Caller, we're trying to get on the trucking network, and this isn't the kind of content... That I don't think Bob would want on his program. Well, well that's just well, it. I don't want to. Listen, now I, Amanda kept touching him, and he got irritated. So I thought maybe old Bob likes Amanda. boys. I'm just trying to be friendly. Well, that's fine, and that's fine. But I, I want to get back to this caller here. There, I, there's no way I'm going to give you a head, sir. Hey, We're listen, we can get head. my Star Wars sheets. I can put on a Chewbacca mask and take you to Pound Town. <laughs> you know, you know. That. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Would you like Have a good day. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, there's applesauce. No. There, we have tea. Oh, it's in sir. my mug, but you're welcome to sir, take a swig. You know that kind of language. That kind of language. You know what? It's mildly, it's mildly amusing that kind of language. But well, I don't your appreciate that. Your head is that. where Ringo's is. Oh, all this talk about Pound Town. You know. Is that that show with Guy Fieri? Which oh, no. one? Oh, that's Flavor Town. Yeah, that's Take Me Down to Flavor Town. You know, we have to keep in mind that there could be kids watching this show, and uh, you oh, know, you've course. got all kinds of talk about cucks and you know sucking heads and things like that. I mean, that's it's not appropriate. That's why I don't want tea to be broadcast on the Trucking Network. You see, well, P. Rucker has abused Amanda Tarantino. P. Rucker. Has, has called his chat room a bunch of cucks. And you called your chat room? Uh, no, I d uh, King Acorn, here's two more dollars down payment on my 8x10. I will donate another 1000 if Amanda rubs Bob Croft's head. Love you, Corfty. Well, see, now that's very nice, and I appreciate that. And you know what? If you're going to rub my head, just give me a little heads up, Amanda. I mean, that's fine, you know? I don't mind you touching my head. Just Wait, let I me know. know which, I think Amanda would love to rub your to. head. Stuck on it and I'm sorry, sir. What was that? <laughs> what, what were you saying, caller? I, I think Amanda would love to suck him and give him a blowjob. I think you're. La I heard laughing. I think he sounds like he's 16. The overcompressed video. This overcompressed video can't even make blob. Cr All right. Do I have to start banning everybody in this chat so that we can get a decent audience so we can get on the trucking network? Slash ban all. Somebody I'm going to put it in. Ban all. The dad's cream soda tastes swell, eh? What does that mean? Like, what does half this, this stuff mean, T? Hello, and I you're on understand. with Bob. You're on with Bob Croft. Please clean up <clears throat> your act. Hello? Yes. Can, can you hear me? Message. Hello? Hello. No one wants your skin flute except me. Hello. Oh. Hello. I am from Sweden, and uh, this is my first time calling on your network. Uh, my name is uh, Sven, 
And well, we, uh, we have I saw something, something for a first time caller. Sven, that's original. Oh, oh, flattering, flattering. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I hope my accent is, uh, is understandable. We can understand you fine, uh, Sven. Oh, oh, okay, good. Uh, there is something I would like to talk about. And <clears throat> I heard something uh, called cucks. And it's, it's a very important thing here in Sweden that uh, has taken place, especially amongst feminists and uh, <clears throat> Muslims. Um, I'm, I'm very, very angry because all the Muslims here in Sweden have started to uh, <clears throat> procreate with white women. Are you a racist, that... sir? Are you a racist? Is that, is that what this, this is all about? Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I'm not a racist. And that is one of the things that makes me so angry is that I say that I am Swedish. I'm proud for being white. And then they say I'm racist. You are just like Sweden. Well, that I'm is why all the immigrants come here to Sweden. It's because of America and, but why and all the even, trucks. Why would you even bring up the Muslims, uh, sir? Because the Muslims... The Muslims are ra are racist to us. They say that we we are too kind because here in Sweden we our, our culture is is uh, <clears throat> is very passive and we are very nice to each other Caller, and with the Sharia the law and everything that is going on here. What the hell does this the have to do with the trucking network and your show, T? Let me ask you a question, Bob. Is this the kind of content? You'd like to see on your program? Certainly not. Like this is not the kind you of content. Know, you just need you to know, relax a little. why are you touching me, Amanda? Why are you? Uh, is there something going on back here? Well, she keeps touching me in no, un I'm inappropriate not. ways. No, don't lie. Okay. How's it going, T? Hello. And could you provide us some content that might be suitable for the trucking network? I got two. Absolutely. Uh, I don't know about oh, content, yes. but uh, I'm not a jokist. I didn't. Uh, I just tuned in. Not a lot of chances to say hi to Bob Croft. Now, see, that yeah. message is just completely inappropriate. I'm not even going to read that. Why message. don't you stand up, turn... <laughs> what kind of a message? We're trying to get on the trucking network. We're trying to get on the trucking network. We're trying to get on the trucking network. We're tr <clears throat> Priority message. Hey, T, it's your good friend Tom Metzger. Just wanted to thank you for your subscription to War or White Area. I didn't subscribe to that. Now you see they're trying to they're trying to they're just trying to rile you, T. Is it is that the point of this? The people call in, they're just trying to rile you and get you all worked up. I think that's what it is. Bob, out of one to ten, what are ten being the greatest, what are our chances of getting on the trucking network after this? The chances of getting you on the trucking network are if you do not have the call in shows and you're just doing your show with your little inserts and whatnot, and Amanda can do her thing and with her whatever she does. Uh, but not with all the colors. <laughs> what the hell's that? Sounds like yeah, Chewbacca. Bobby, take it. Take it, Bobby. Priority message. Hey, Bob, let me see that pee-pee, boy. Yeah, you see? There you go. That's really intelligent, sir. Thank you very much. Bob, can we offer you something? We have a little bit of applesauce no. left. Here, no. You, you, like some, um, you here, can take your sauce. That's you fine, Amanda. Take the donut to go? I think Amanda likes the sauce anyway. <gasps> you know what, Bob? I tried to be nice and rub your you shoulders know, don't, and get you relaxed. You just let me know when you're touching me, all right? Oh, I'll that's, let you know. That's all I ask. Bob, we're willing to go on the program, but it's going to have to be the this format. Yeah, well, we're going to work. It's the format we're of our choosing. That. We're going to work on that, and we're going to talk about that because this can't go on. I came here on my good graces just to sit down, and then I get abused by all these callers, and they're telling me about rubbing their heads and cucks and whatnot. I don't even know what that means. Hello? Hello? All right, one more caller. All right, all right well, this is the last Hello? call for Bob Croft. Go ahead. All right, this is Mohammed, and I am from Sweden. And I want to tell the guy that recently called Priority that message. we are the ones that will fuck your women and fuck your wife, now, children. Who is this? Who is this calling? Bob, you told me you were going to church, and here I see you on some video with some autist and a harlot. We're through. I'm divorcing you. Also, you have a tiny dink, and I ne All right, listen. I.F. Ted. Yeah, that's very Who's funny, caller. Betty... <laughs> 
Betty Croft. Betty Croft. Be Priority <laughs> message. Betty Croft. No one's rubbing the applesauce on my head. Thank you very Scum much. Come, Lord. Rub the applesauce up. Well, Bob, we want to thank you for coming by. I know your time's valuable. Um, yeah, well, I hope that what you've seen here is perhaps... It's not. For well, and, and you can take it to go plate, Forget Bob. It. Goodbye. No, like, take the to go plate. There's applesauce. Nope. There's a, take at least... No, take at your least sauce, take Amanda. Me. Rub it on yourself. You know what? You didn't even you touch your avocado. You know what, Bob? Take this avocado and shove it up your fucking ass. I'll show I'm, you some sauce, Amanda. Yeah, I'm sure you will. If you can make it work. Fuck you, Bob. They're blaming Bob leaving and b not letting us on, on me. Saying that I was sexually harassing him. I think it's their fault. I don't think it's my fault. Well, let's let's take a step back and look at the uh, what what happened here. I I welcomed Bob. I thought I was very polite to Bob. I got him nice snacks. Yeah. What? How did? You, okay. So your snack tray consisted of which again? A ripe avocado, unpeeled with a sticker still on. Um, a two-day-old glazed donut yes. and some applesauce because he likes apples so much. So, and unfortunately, the callers decided to call in, and then there was messages coming in telling him he's a like a cuck or something. Well, you know what? I, I just want to say quickly about the food that when he flies coach, as we all know he does. Th th that's better than the snacks they're giving him on the damn plane, unless he wants to pay $12 for two peanuts. By the way, I heard that you got on the plane after that March 20th program. This is where you said you were going to actually fly the plane on the way home. I heard I that... I don't remember saying that. I heard that you actually st stood up in your seat... And we're actually walking down the aisle on takeoff. Like when it's going full speed and beginning to tilt back and go up. You're walking down the... I had to pee really, really bad. Lot Lizard, we treated Bob with the utmost respect. Amanda's sexual harassment ruined it for... Okay, so Okay, now well, what about the Chewbacca comment with Pound Town, huh? You don't think that was too far? Did you see him? The man almost had a fucking stroke. Okay. Who thinks, okay, who thinks it was Amanda who caused it through, what did he just say you did? I forget. He, what did he just say? The, sexual harassment. Oh, yeah. Who thinks it was Amanda, Amanda's sexual harassment? One. Lot Lizard's pound town uh, comment is two. I want to see who's responsible here, in your opinion. You sexually harass me. You touch me all the time. Well, Lot Lizard's pressing Why do you one. think it's okay? I don't. I, when have I ever touched you? I might have reassured you by touching your knee like there, there. Don't you fucking I didn't. do it. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, there. DeTrezzle says two. There's one person who says uh, Lot did it. And, oh, look at this. Claire's boy. Pound Town. I like it, Claris boy. That's clever. I like that. We got to work that in. That's good. Um, okay. Well, why don't we go to the phones and see who is responsible? All I know is we got to fix this. We got to get Bob back on. It wasn't me. He didn't like the way these people were talking, and he didn't even like how they abused me. And now all this is doing is fueling these people's abuse for me. I know that Bob wants a PS4. It was not Amanda. Amanda ruined your chances. Why do you defend her? It was Amanda. Amanda is a convicted rapist. Amanda did it. It was Bob, Puck said. A lot lizard saying Amanda did it in all caps. Amanda should buy Bob a PS4. I can't afford it. I'm laid off. I think the way we're going to get on the trucking network. Priority message. Trucking Apple says, Bob Korf wore Amanda as a hate. Her flaps were so wet she slipped down. How do, how do people even think of this stuff? Here, let me get a close-up of your reaction. See, how do people even think of this stuff?
my idea is we get corfed on. We let them sell as 8 by 10s. Let's, let's let them sell as 8 by 10s. And if he can get a PS4 out of it, I've, he's told me in the past we can get on this trucking network. By the way, you were talking off camera. Oh, it's okay. Everything's Don't okay. fucking touch me! The cucking network. Amanda, what will you be making for your next cooking show? Oh, hello. Perhaps presenting hello, your locally famous beef curtains? Thanks for ruining the show today, by the way. We could have had something big. Don't worry, we'll get this back on track. They'll, don't get vulgar. Bob just left on business. He'll be back in four days, and we'll look at getting him on and get his 8x10s going. And I'm sure that'll... Okay, go ahead, caller. Oh, uh, so you want me to decide on whose fault it is? Well, we'd like your opinion. Yes. What's your opinion? Well, it's obvious that Manda sexually uh, assaulted him. And uh, sexual harassment is serious, and you should not be doing this. How flipping disgusting, you little fucking bitch. Hello? She has no response. She's just shaking her head. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah, I did get a bit over the top there. You know what? Anyway. You fucking no? piece of shit. It's people like you people who cause like Bob to that. leave. Me touching him a little lightly to help him or relieve tension or smell him because he smells amazing. I think he wears like Armani or something. But oh, right. th that's Amanda, beyond that. You got a Amanda, thing for court. No, I do right not. Now. That sounds really pervy right now. Please stop. If Amanda, if we get him back on, we let him, we let him sell his eight by tens. We will turn over the priority messages completely in his control. That show, I'm willing to do that to get on the trucking network. Let's let him sell his eight by tens. But you gotta keep your hands off him. Oh, yeah. really? Well, you should hold to that and maybe keep your fucking hands off me. I didn't put your clingy little I tiny put... sticky now, fucking fingers. I know Amanda, your plan was says, to try and get quaffed on the you network by maybe. Him, right? That is called yeah. rape. R A P E. R A P E. He's spelling it out R -A -P -E. for us. R A P E. Hang up. R A P E. Hello. Go ahead. Yeah, see, I'm glad that you're not on the trucking network. I just want to say I'm so fucking glad because you're a piece of shit. You know Who that? is? Fuck. Who's the piece of shit? You are, you fucking asshole. I'm glad that you're not gonna be the. I'm glad that you're not gonna be on the trucking network. I'm glad. I'm glad that Amanda probably will be sued for sexual harassment. I, I'm 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 just happy. You guys, you guys have made my day. I am the happiest man in the world right now. Man, you sound like you're 12. Man, oh, excuse me, you son of a bitch. I Let me tell you one goddamn thing, you rapist. I challenge you to stay on the line and not hang up. Fucking bitch. I challenge you to stay on the line and not hang up like a bitch. Oh, I'm on the line, you mother. Rucker, I'm just telling you one goddamn thing, T. Rucker. I think you're a pile of shit. I think you're a fucking hat. And I think that you can go fuck yourself. How about that, Rucker? How about yep. that? How about this? If you got such a big problem with the program, why are you sitting here wasting your time watching it? I wanted to call in just to tell you how much of a fucking piece of shit you are. I hope your mom walks into your bedroom and fucking grounds you from the internet for a week through the way you're why talking. Why would my mother? Why would my, my mother? mother my mother? My mother? Fuck my mother! All right, let, let him speak. Why would she walk into my apartment on the 35th floor? I'm telling you, that's on the 35th floor. It's an expensive apartment. Why would she walk in? I, I don't understand. I don't understand what you're trying to you're trying to say. Are you trying to say I'm some sort of underage? Why don't you get together with Guy Fieri? Why don't you? Why don't you get together with Amanda? Why don't, why don't you whip Guy Fieri's pants down and go to Flavor Town? 
How do you have an apartment on a 35th floor? You sound seriously underage. What do you do for a living? What do I do for a living? I, uh, what I do for a living is I work on the stock market in New York City. You work right? on the stock market? Yeah. The only thing you What do you do for a living, Amanda? Oh, that's right. You're unemployed. Well, you know what? At least I don't lie and claim that I live in some fancy 35th floor apartment. Do you know how much a high-rise apartment would cost in New York City? Really? Can you afford $2 million a year on some apartment? You don't sound intelligent enough to work on the stock market. Amanda, you are a stupid dumbass. Yeah, he helps set up the stock booths. He works on them with a wrench. Amanda, listen, what I want you to do is I want you Ugh. to I want you to go look at the American flag right now. Look at look at the flag. Are you the only thing the you work on is your BF's bulge. <laughs> oh, that's that's intelligent, Steve. That's really freaking smart. Let me ask you one question. Well, I'm sure as soon as the lag is done, I'm going to see a few things in the chat saying wrecked. There we go. Chief oh, MPL. Wow. Wrecked. Rebel okay, terrorist. Destroyed. Christ. Yeah, rebel terrorist. Correctly. How about that? Incorrect. How about that, Steve? How about His that? voice is cracking. He hasn't even fully gone through puberty cracking. yet. Listen, I believe it is our connection. That's making you believe Our connection that making you sound like a little dweeb? Hey, I oh, got an I idea. Why don't you keep you your voice like down shit. so you don't like disturb your dad? So you don't so you don't disturb your dad while he's doing his crossword in the next room. My dad isn't doing his crossword in the next room. My dad is doing Sudoku most likely in Ohio. Do you know what? You better make sure all your homework's done before Monday, mister. Oh, I, I, what do you mean homework? I'm on the stock market, all right? I don't have you're on homework. the stock market You now. better make so sure you get a job. You're on, on the stock market. Why don't you give us a stock what tip? Why no, 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 here. Why don't you give us a stock tip? What What did you I'm take in college to get where you're at? What, what did you major in? Day four. What did you major in? I'm glad that you're not on the trucking network. I am so goddamn glad. Hey, Keith, I have a question for you, actually. I asked you for a stock tip, you cock. And I asked you what you majored in in college to work on the stock market. I have a question for you, T. You don't need to know any of my information. <laughs> Damn you. I have a question for you. I want to know the last load you took, and I want to know where you took it. I know the last load you took. It was up your I fucking ass last, by your daddy. The last you, load you took was from a black man. In, in the bathroom of a club in Valentine, Nebraska. There are Not no clubs. Right? There are no clubs, there's, and there are also no black men. There's no black men in Valentine, and there's no clubs that in seems Valentine. That's like a pretty racist city. Is that why you You're there? pretty racist because you assume oh, that know. I'm going to be disgusted by you saying I slept with a black man. What does it matter what you race he is? Back. You slept. With a black man, most likely. Who gives a fuck you know who what? I slept why with? Don't you, why don't you go get on a bike that has really small oh, wheels bike. and a seat that goes way up high and vape? Uh -huh. And then ride and off like a, like a steam train, and, you, you dumbass. Vape on a bike. I bet he, he has a tiny dink. A bitch. Yeah, why don't you go sunk my younger. dink? I make more sunk money my dink. A minute, all right? I'm currently making a thousand dollars. Just currently. Talking. Because that's how rich I am. You're that's making a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars is small potatoes. A thousand dollars an hour isn't. Let me tell you that. That well, doesn't you know exist. Much, tell you know me what. Much tell me what the last. What was the last stock you traded? Well, what was the last load you took? When well, you're you not answering the question. question. You know what, what stock you last you traded? It's C U C K. You know what? He's 14, so he thinks a thousand dollars is a lot of money. Yeah. You don't have to detour the mic. I can hear you fine. Yeah, imagine all the video games you could buy with a thousand dollars. Yeah. Imagine what you could do on Steam with a thousand dollars. So yeah. Imagine what you could do there. on the side of uh, on the side of a road late at night with a thousand dollars. So basically, now all I you're doing is taking what we say and then repeating it back in a different form. What you could do on the side of the road for a thousand dollars, you could pick up a Tarantino. I bet she'd give you a fucking reach around, Steve. That's I an original joke. 
Oh, your your jokes aren't anywhere near. Bruce All you're doing is literally taking what we're saying and then repeating it in a different form. All you are doing is taking what I'm saying and repeating it in a different form. You're asking. He's twelve. Why don't you go go watch a Marvel movie? Why don't you go watch a movie made by Marvel Studios? Why won't he answer the question? Has he not taken a load recently? Yes, I have. I went to Everett, Washington. Where are you, son of a bitch? Where? He e just I said. just said Everett, Washington. Everett, Washington. Everett, Wa I took I-94 to get there, you dumbass. What, what was the load? Disclose the load. Aircraft-grade aluminum. Oh, wow. You're, you're going around this, this ridiculous, stupid country. And you're hauling... Stupid hauling country?! You're hauling aluminum. Yeah, I think this country sucks, honestly. I might be a citizen, but I think if we're trying to vote in Trump, it sucks, alright? You a little you're, ungrateful you're, you're shithead. Aluminum. Why you're don't you GTO? Why don't you GTO out of here, then? GTO the fuck out of here. Oh, shut the fuck up, Amanda. You're a piece of shit. He's a piece of shit. I'm glad you're not on the trucking network. I'm I can't wait until your dad comes into your room, bends you over, and whoops you on the ass with a belt and fucking grounds you. Lot lizard. It's you know, rare you hear a 12-year-old get raped on the internet and the FBI isn't involved. I think we need to get another line going here. Who, who wants to call up and talk to this cuck? Oh, really? I'll talk to anybody, Pete. Hit anyone on the other line. Go ahead. He, hold on, he's he's trying to no, get this no, going. No, shut the hell up. I'm not talking to you, bitch. I'm talking to T. You Rucker. little fucking dweeb. I can't believe the mouth on this kid. I know, it's crazy. He's one of those kids who I gets his ass beat at school. You. So now he's no, coming here to try no, to be a hard ass. I'm sorry, yeah, what? Exactly what is it that you're so salty over? I'm salty. Salt I'm truck, salty, salty that you salty. took my cousin. You listen, my cousin was about to deliver lungs. To, to, to these kids, these, these poor kids. And you, what you did, you siphoned gas, you son of a bitch. Oh, I'm just drop that, that gag already. That gimmick's dead. He's my cousin, goddammit. All right. And All right, here. Probably he's fuck fired. your cousin. He's living on the side of the street, you Okay, hang on. I got to hack my computer. I'm opening up the terminal. Yeah, he's got, there's a bunch of little codes going on right now. It's I pretty, even made hacking. it so that it's, oh, sorry, Dad. It, it even has green text. Over a semi-translucent background, a look hackerish. Oh, okay. Listen, Pete. What I gotta say is that you're a pile of shit, and I hope that Amanda and you end up on the fucking streets. That's all I gotta say. All right, we got Hall and Ash Show Two now open. The first person you have to call. Why? Why, why can't they just call? Huh? You have to call Hall and Ash Show Two. Wait, wait, yeah. Chat. Hollin ass show two. Now the first person who calls Hollin ass show two. Priority message. Genuine trucker. This kid needs to have his prostate stimulated with a well placed avocado. Oh, that's hilarious. Well, that's if it's if the avocado is mushy enough, it's quite oily. I'm sure it could be used as lube. Just a lot of like mash. It would already look like Why poop. You, you wouldn't be able to tell the yourself, difference. Amanda. I'm okay. sure you've run out of it by now. Can you hear us, caller? Yes, I can. Oh, I can hear you. <clears throat> yes, I can. Can you hear each other? I uh, I can't hear the other caller. Guy. Can you hear each other? I I can. I am only hearing you and Amanda. Hold hello, hello avocado. Okay, let's see if we can get this sorted out. Can you not hear me? Oh, I can hear that fish and chip eater now. Yep. Okay. Well, all right. Let have at it then. Uh, to the new caller, what do you have to say to the kid? Why are you right, calling me listen. a kid, goddamn? I'm four years old. What the fuck? I live in a fucking apartment. I'm not you a just, kid. A I work on stocks. Say? What? Oh, why? Why is he? Why is he crying now? What, what's going on? He's calling me a fucking kid. I'm not a kid. I, I work on stocks. Oh, all right. Um, 
Just, just, all right, listen. Look at yourself right now. All right, examine yourself. What do you see? You see a 14 year pretending he, uh, he looks at stocks on the internet or whatever, however stocks work. And you keep, you're trying to troll the I'm show. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I speak American. I don't speak your stupid ass fucking Euro shit. Could you talk American to me? So maybe all, I can understand All right, you. I'll, I'll try and get my American up. <clears throat> get your American up! All, all right. Get on uh, with it, I don't have time for all this. All right, all right, uh, no, I can't be fucked, but, uh, just, just stop trying to, stop trying to troll this. Uh, thing and leave. Will all right, hang on. Will you get on with your call? For what? I can't even hear you. H hang up. Yeah. Oh fuck you! You hang up, you stupid bastard. No, please hang up. Let me tell you one thing. If you're gonna call into a show, you should at least speak American. All right. I don't. No, it's it's your, it's your Tommy come come and chat. Press say press one to hang up. Press one to hang oh, up. Oh yeah, press one to hang up. Oh, I thought everyone in the chat press one. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. One, one, two. Two people are pressing two. No, no, two what means double hang up. Me? Two means hang up times two. Hello? Hello? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, this is Dane. What's up, T? Uh, not much. What's up with you? I'm just uh, looking at your fucking stream, yeah? Like, what's up with your beard? You used to have the cool ass beard, now you just uh, look like a twink. I did this for the benefit of the Euros. I went for a Euro look. And you don't appreciate that? that? <laughs> What's up with the mustache, bro? You look like a shit, bro. Well, isn't this what everybody does in Europe? No, we got clean shaves, like a real man. Well, I, what I've seen in Europe is a thin mustache that they have. Thin mustache and maybe a little bit under their lip. All right, I wanna, what I want to talk about is... Uh, the last caller before you got the DDoS. There was no DDoS. The camera oh. messed up. Okay, whatever. No, he, the audio, when the audio won't oh, out. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, I know that's just the audio b being a bugger. Like, I want to talk about that guy who fucking wrecked you. No, but listen, what are you trying to get on about here? Nobody wrecked me. I saw you cry behind your glasses, though. I most certainly did not. You were sobbing. <laughs> is, is, is this the kind of thing we're gonna if we take the time to do a program aimed at Europe and then we get Europe calling up and saying this <clears throat> type of stuff then we're not gonna do up. Europe anymore oh I'm sorry just uh, what I wanted to say is fuck shit fuck niggers niggers niggers